Did you know, at peak season, Shawnee's water supply storage could maintain usage for only half a day? That's a primary concern for the city, and it's being addressed with the construction of a second water line between Shawnee Twin Lakes and the water treatment plant in Dunbar Heights. Shawnee Municipal Authority is overseeing the project, and we spoke with Utility Operations Manager Randy Brock about the process. Well, there's been a need for some time. We have, we have one line coming from the Twin Lake uh, number two to the water treatment plant. If something were to happen to that line, it would, it would create a problem. Uh, so for some redundancy, there has, there has been a great need to have a, a backup line. So this line actually is replacing a line that was built in the late 1930s when Twin Lake number one was, was originally built. It's gonna run parallel with a line that was built in the late 50s when number two lake was built. We have four towers throughout town, uh, and then we have a, a clear well here that um, I'm trying to remember, I think it holds a million gallons. And the towers, I'm not real sure. So we've got all oh, two to four million gallons of storage. Once that was gone, basically we'd be out of water. To fix a need, there's usually a cost. And constructing a 30 inch water line for 11 miles comes with a price for all of us. We contracted a company to do a rate study down here. And they took about a year to do it. It was a, a long, long term deal. Uh, they finally put it together. We cut and cut and whittled on it. Uh, we went out through the community and introduced the plan and, and had a lot of support. We have an excellent commission. Uh, they recognize the need to have a, a rate structure where rates raise so much. We went forever and ever here in Shawnee without raising the rates. And you know, I know it's aggravating. It, it is to me anytime my rates go up. And I know people hate to see that, but we, we have to have it to survive. And this is a very, very important project. The new pipeline will have many years of service as soon as it's completed. I think it's something that the entire town uh, agrees upon. Uh, you know, we, we've had a line break in the river. Uh, people see that need. Uh, there's been a lot of support for it. The life expectancy, I think, is about 50 years, but it'll go well beyond that. So, yeah, it could, it could go to 70 or 80 years. The municipal authority is responsible for the water as soon as it arrives at their facility. Randy supplied us with information as to why Shawnee's water supply is as clean as it gets. We went to a new disinfection pro process called chloramines, and that is a combination of chlorine and uh, liquid ammonium sulfate. And that has helped us tremendously with the uh, the formation of trihalomethanes. And chloramines is a really good uh, disinfectant or process. It's not as strong a disinfectant as chlorine is, but the residual lasts a lot longer and gets out into the system further and lasts longer. So that has really helped us with that. We continue all the time and with age and time and things changing, Wes Watkins is getting better about the organics. And we continue to try to improve our, our treatment process. And we're getting to the point right now where most recently the problem has been TOC reduction, which that's not bad for you. The only reason it's regulated is it helps form trihalomethanes. But we're getting to the point where we've been in compliance all the way around for some time now. The city of Shawnee is taking a positive step by creating water supply redundancy with the construction of this new pipeline. It secures a highway for our water to travel to you, to me, and to our great, great grandchildren. We always encourage conservation. I mean, it's, it's a smart practice. We're able to treat West Watkins and Shawnee Twin Lakes both. So, and, and with the rainfall we've had, we have plenty of water, water supply is good, but we always encourage conservation.